Happy wife, happy life. Nope. Happy spouse, happy house. Hashtag men need to be happy too. I don't agree. I'm sorry. I do not agree. I don't agree. I believe both things can simultaneously be possible. I don't think because you say happy wife, happy life, that's a bad thing. Because me personally, like, I actually do get happiness when my wife is in a happy space, when she's really stressed out or really dealing with something heavy. That also weighs on me as well. Like, we are a unit. We are together. And me as the husband and as the leader, like, I'm always going to be questioning, like, what can I do to be able to put you in a better headspace? How can I make your day better? Like, that's really important to me. So when my wife is not in a good space, when she is not happy, it's not to say that I'm down in the dumps and I'm not in a good place either, but it definitely doesn't feel good. So happy wife, happy life definitely has some validity to it, in my opinion. So when people say, when I, when I saw this picture, this is the reason why I wanted to make this video because people have a negative connotation to happy wife, happy life. But actually that's a good thing. Like if your wife is happy, most likely the relationship is going to be happy because we all know like women are very emotional for the most part, generally speaking, generally speaking. So if your wife is not happy, if she's not having a good season of life or she hasn't been happy in the marriage for years. Like some, some women will stay in a relationship and stay in a marriage for years because they're either staying loyal or they're not willing and and ready to leave, but they choose to stay unhappy. That unhappiness that they project and that they exude out of the relationship, that, that energy is bad and that energy will wear, wear off on you. Most likely. So when you have a happy wife, when she is fulfilled and she is happy with her man, when she is happy with the things going on in her life and that she's happy with how you guys are constructing a life together, most likely the relationship will be happy. Most likely your marriage will be happy. Most likely the different elements that constitute a good life for you and her, your unique things that make you guys happy will be in good standing. So happy wife, happy life has some validity to it. And it's not a negative thing in my opinion. Now the next part, happy spouse, happy house. A hundred percent agree. A hundred percent agree because that's not just speaking to the woman's side of happiness. It's speaking to both people. So Instead of looking at it like happy wife, happy life is a one-sided thing. No, it's actually two-sided because having a happy wife is a good thing for both of you. So don't look at it as a one-sided scenario. It's not. But happy spouse, happy house, obviously this speaks to both people. And extremely important, both people need to be happy. So hashtag men need to be happy too is a hundred percent correct. Like we have to be happy in the relationship as well. And if happy wife, happy life isn't doing it for you, then yeah, that's a problem, you know, because at the end of the day, men do need to be happy in a relationship. It's not all about the women but I'm not contradicting myself. I'm saying both of these statements can be true. Happy wife, happy life is not a negative thing. And obviously happy spouse, happy house clearly speaks to both people being happy in the relationship. And that builds a happy home. And really that's the 
That's the objective that all marriages want to have. Have a happy house. Have a happy home. So when both people are happy in the relationship, that means most likely you guys are fulfilled. And what does fulfillment do? Fulfillment blocks out all the other distractions that could be a detriment to your relationship. When you're happy, when you're fulfilled in your relationship, commitment is 100% there between you both. When you're happy and you're fulfilled, you don't have any desire. You don't have any temptation to step out on your marriage. When you're happy and you're fulfilled, you want to continue to stay in that space. You want to continue to stay in that headspace. You want to continue to have that mindset to say, how, we, how can we continue to build upon what we've already built? Because I like this feeling. I like that you're happy and I like that I'm happy. And let's learn from the things that maybe have hurt us before and eliminate that. Let's take the things that have worked for us that has brought us the happiness and the fulfillment in our relationship. And let's continue to feed into that. Let's continue to, to feed that energy. That's what a happy home is. So happy house, happy spouse, or excuse me, <laughs> happy spouse, happy house is 100% correct. But guess what? So is happy wife, happy life. Both of these things can be true. And I believe in both. So me personally, I would say, fellas, don't take happy wife, happy life as a negative thing, as a thing where it's saying, oh, well, you're just catering to a, a, a woman's happiness and, and that's that's it. No, like it truly is actually a, a, a two way thing when you think about happy wife, happy life. But if you take it as, oh, I'm just catering to my wife's needs, but not really catering to mine. Well, then in a sense, your wife's happiness isn't really a priority for you then. Like for me, my wife's happiness and joy in life and just making sure that she's in a good, fun, happy, fulfilled space is a priority for me. Like if she's not in that fulfilled space, if she's not having a good season of life, if she's anxious or she's very stressed about something, that, that affects me. It affects me. And then it makes me want to say, okay, what, what can I do? How can I help this situation? How can I help her get out of this funk? How can I get her back to a, in good standing with her mental health and her happiness? So happy wife, happy life definitely applies to a marriage. And don't take it the wrong way. Because I don't. I, I think having a happy wife is half the battle. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's probably more than half the battle, you know? But if you can have a happy wife and you can keep a happy wife and you can keep her fulfilled, then most likely you're going to stay fulfilled as well. And you got to be real with yourself. You got to be real with yourself. Like, is there things that you're doing that are making her unhappy? Is there things that you can do better to put her more in a happy space on a day-to-day -day basis? I say that with a grain of salt because I don't want people to take it the wrong way to think that like you can control somebody else's happiness because you can't. Everybody is in control of their own happiness. And you might be able to steer them in the right the right direction you might be able to alter certain things to bring them happiness but ultimately happiness only lies within you and yourself and your mind and your mindset your perspective your ability to be grateful these are the things that are going to 
bring out personal, individual happiness. And no other person, not your mom, not your dad, not your husband, not your wife, can pull happiness out of you 100%. Things and people can alter it and can help in certain situations, but ultimately, happiness lies within you. You've got to find what makes you happy. So as a husband, as a father... One thing that's always a priority of mine is keeping a happy home. And a part of that is keeping a happy wife. So happy wife, happy life is a positive thing. It's a good thing. And I believe in it. And I also believe in happy spouse, happy house. So if you like this content and you like the perspective of a father, of a husband, then continue to follow this channel. Continue to like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already leave a comment down below we respond to all comments